Okay, we are live. We are live. One second. Bear with me. Okay, yeah, we're live. What's going on, guys? Quick little uh, commentary for Joseph Parker versus Junior Far. Why not? I don't usually do commentaries, but why the fuck not? Okie dokie. Anyway, let me just get this sorted. Check my stream is fine. Indeed it is. That's fine. That's fine as well. Okay. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. But anyway, yeah, so right now I believe we are in the co-main event. Uh, Hemi Ahiovi, heavyweight prospect, is fighting Julius Long, the journeyman. And so far, yeah, it's fourth round of eight. Uh, Hemi Ohio is winning all the rounds, really. Um, Julius Long, just a tall, out of shape journeyman, really, absorbing punishment, throwing a few shots back here and there, but um, Hemi Ohio is really in control here. But I'm not really paying too much attention to this co-main event. Not really a great fight. Uh, Gamer Keen, if you go on uh, www.crackstreams.com, you can find the fight there. That's the best stream site, bro. Go on crackstreams.com. But yeah, this is just a little live commentary. Nothing, um, I'm not showing the fight. <clears throat> all, um, all, all Julius Long is doing is sitting in the corner, just looking for openings and throwing one shot at a time. Oh, Hemi here, down, he got caught by a right hand. He, he basically won all of the rounds and he just walked into an uppercut, then, then a right hook. Yeah, just careless by Hemi Ahio. Came in, hands down, square on. My man was sitting in the corner and he countered him. He wasn't that hurt, though. Now Hemi Ahio comes back, landing some hard shots to the head and body. Julius Long on the ropes, trying to again just counter with single hard shots as Ahio comes in. Some nice left hooks by Ahio. By the way, Julius Long is like seven foot and, and Hemi Ahio is like 5'10", 5'11". So the height difference is crazy. But Ahio needs to use a bit more head movement. Just take his head off centre line a little bit because he comes in straight on and he's open for these counter shots. But yeah, this is a good round in round four. Julius Long versus Hemi Ahio. I felt Ahio, Ahio won the first three rounds, but, you know, Julius Long just scored a 10-8 round, so this fight's back on. Big up to Big Dan. He says, I reckon Julius Long could beat this kid if he wanted to. Yeah, if he was in if he was in shape and whatnot, you could be right, bro, because Hemi Ahio looks very beatable. Very beatable. Doesn't look anything... He looks nothing special. If I was Hemi Ahio... I'll try and go back down to, I'll try and go back to, uh, go, sorry, I'll try and go down to cruiserweight because he's a small heavyweight. He's a small heavyweight. There's a good little fight, actually. Julius Long is knackered, though. He just keeps on sitting on the ropes or sitting in the corner. He's just sitting back, trying to ride with shots, block shots, and come back with, with a single counter. That's all, that, that's all he's doing, Julius Long. Good, good jab by a heo. Left hook by Ahio. But Julius Long comes back with a couple of singles. Nice left hand by uh, by Julius Long. <laughs> Julius Long's just clowning now. Julius Long's clowning. Michael Van Gerwen, he says, Morning, Dell, you watching the Canelo card tonight? M maybe, maybe. Big up to Harrison Ford. Should be a good fight. Forgot about it. Yeah, it could be decent. Could be decent. Morning, Timmy. Big up to Timmy Nealon. Yeah, Julius Long is massive. He's a big dude. Yeah, David Nika looks very good. And he's a cruiserweight. He's six foot six. It's crazy. But yeah, seems powerful, tall and rangy, nice hand speed, good timing. 
Yeah, David Nika looks like a real good prospect, bro. Real good prospect. And obviously, at six foot six, eventually he's going to move to heavyweight as well. <clears throat> so he's got a good future. I will try and keep an eye on the chat, but obviously it's hard when I'm um, what do you call it? When I'm when I'm watching the fight as well. I'll try and put it up on my phone actually. Oh yeah, I saw that. I saw that Michael Van Gerwen, the retirement annou announcement by uh, Christopher Lovejoy. And yeah, Julius Long is literally just sitting in the corner. He's not. He's not moving. He's just beckoning him. He's he's telling a Hio to come in. What a right hand by a Hio! Just bounced off Julius Long's chin. Julius Long needs to throw back because the referee's starting to take a closer look at this. Oh, a lovely right hook by a Hio. He's a Hio's just wailing away, and now there's nothing coming back from Julius Long. Another, another hook by Ahio. I want to see Ahio go back down to the body a little bit because Julius Long is knackered. Go down to the body, come back upstairs with a hook or something. Good right hook by Ahio. Julius Long not really throwing back now. An uppercut right now would, would be perfect for Julius Long. He needs to try and find an uppercut because Ahio's not really taking his, his head off centre line. And he's open for it. Oh, right hook by Ahio again. <laughs> Julius Long, man. Ahio is telling him to get to the center, center of the ring and he's just not moving from the corner. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, Ahio is now just teeing off, uh, teeing off with hooks, trying to load up and knock this guy out. Julius Long's a tough guy, though, to be fair to him, but he's, he's just out of shape. He's old. And yeah, he's he's in he's in bad shape right now. He's trying to throw back here and there, but nowhere near as frequent as the first four rounds. Now he's moving. Now Julius Long's taking a walk. Timeout by the referee. What's he seen? What's he seen? Oh, okay, he's uh, loose tape on the gloves. Yeah, Michael Van Gerwen, it's great to hear a crowd. It's great to hear a crowd. JH14, nothing like a bit of boxing with my breakfast. Yeah, I, I love an early morning card as well. Big up to Reptile Lifestyle. Australia shamefully in the house. Shout out, Mark. But yeah, you're right, Michael Van Gerwen. It's great to hear a crowd again. It's brilliant. Just makes it it, it 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 does change the fights as well, in my opinion. It can change the fights. Yeah, they're they're doing some tape on Julius Long's gloves. That's why nothing's happening. Now the action is resumed. Hemi Ahio go going back to his pressure game. Julius Long's throwing out a lazy jab, trying to keep a heo off. But once again, Julius Long finds the ropes and he's sitting there. But he's moving off now. Ah, oh, hooked to the head and body from a heo, and that hurt. That hurt Julius Long. Just a left hook to the body, then up to the head, and and Julius Long took a funny step. Definitely felt that one. Right hook by a heo to the head. A heo goes down to the body. So that's what Ihio needs to do. He needs to start out of the body and come up to the head. Because he's anticipating the single headshots, but when he when he goes down to the body and then comes up, he's not reading those shots as well, Julius Long. But yeah, Ihio just needs to keep up the pressure, maintain his shape, watch what's coming back, and he should he'll win this fight. Famous last words. Yeah, round five was dominated by Hemi Ahio, man. Dominated. I believe so, Michael Van Gogh. And I think this is the co-main event, uh, Julius Long versus Hemi Ahio. Listen, Hemi Ahio, from what I see, he's good fun. He's good fun, but he's not really anything special, put it that way. He's not going to be a world champion or anything close.
Okay. I wonder if Julius Long's corner is going to stop it soon because he's taking a beating now and he's not really answering back. He didn't in the fifth round. He barely threw back apart from a few lazy jabs. He, he, he can't get the purchase in his shots now. He's totally knackered and I can't see him winning this fight. He's like 40 years old. He's out of shape. I think they may probably should pull him out. I could see the towel going in this round. Right hook by Heo pushed Julius Long back. Julius Long now in the corner. Again, trying to cover up, but not really not really defending himself all that well. Heo just working away up close to body and head. Tr trying, trying to look for that left hook, Heo. Just rinse and repeat, basically, from Hemi Aheo. Yeah, Julius Long can't get off out of that corner. Oh, he caught a couple counters there, though, Julius Long. A couple of good little shots from Julius. Nothing too uh, too special, though. Nothing too hard. <laughs> Julius Long is still showboating in the corner. And Aheo just goes back to work. Just, just working away with hooks, basically. Nothing too dynamic from a Heo, you know, nothing too explosive. It's all quite one paced. So I don't know, he needs to get the stoppage here, Hemi a Heo. The guy's a dead man in front of him, so needs to get him out. Our left hook by a Heo, good shot. And yeah, Julius Long's eye now, his uh his right eye is starting to swell. That's that left hook from a Heo that caused that. Yeah, I agree with a commentator. Aheo needs to change the angle of his attacks instead of walking straight in and squaring up. And he needs to go from body to head, like I said, because it's quite predictable what Aheo's doing. And there's Julius Long showboating again in the corner, just waving on Hemi Aheo, telling him to come in. Oh, now Julius Long's throwing back. He threw a few hard shots, didn't really connect, but at least it's, at least it's a bit of um, ambition. For what? It, oh, left hook by Aheo. Good shot. Caught Julius Long as he ducked down. Good shot. But Julius Long is throwing back a bit more in this round. Not super regularly, but he's doing it. That's, that's the main thing. Oh, the tape's off again. On um, whose gloves is it? Hemi Aheo. But yeah, how how are you guys? How's your Saturday morning? Hopefully you guys are doing well. Yeah, they're doing the tape on his gloves, on Hemi Ahio's gloves. That's, that's the second time it's happened. It's going to give Julius Long a little break, though. He'll be grateful for that one. Okay, they're, they're resuming the action. Yes, big up to Timmy. Good to hear, Timmy, man. Oh, left hook by Aheo. Stunned Julius Long. He took a dodgy step. He's in the corner. Aheo's going for the finish. A couple of more clean shots should do it. Another left hook. Oh, uppercut by you, Long. Right hook by Aheo. Long is... Oh, right hook again by Aheo. He's taken some hard... Oh, left hook again by Aheo. Listen, Julius Long in that round was very close to touching down. Very close. <clears throat> Got a drama allergy. He says, 4am in the United States. Joe versus Junior on now. Indeed it is, brother. Indeed it is. If you want to stream, go on a, go on a website called crackstreams.com and you can find it there. Usually that's where the best... The best streams are for boxing, www.crackstreams.com, I believe. I, th I think it's .com. <clears throat> but yeah, Julius Long is showing a lot of heart, but he's taking a beating at this point. He's taking a beating, you know. He threw a few more shots back in that round, but he got hurt. So I don't know. I think the corner should really start taking a look at this one. <clears throat> OK, 
again, Julius Long just sits on the rope straight away at the start of the seventh. He's just not got the legs or the energy to move. Oh, uppercut by Julius Long off the ropes. Julius, Julius Long trying to roll with his hooks, trying to defend himself, take the sting off his shots. Ooh, nearly, nearly a big left hook by a heo. Once again, Julius Long in the corner, just kind of throwing a lazy jab. Oh, nice uppercut by Julius Long. But Ahio comes back with a left hook. Ahio just working away to the body with kind of light shots. Comes upstairs with a left hook. Good shot. That's a that's a yeah, very good left hook by Ahio. Julius Long now is pushing with his shots. There's no power whatsoever. He says, watch him knock him out now or something. Oh, left hook again by Ahio. Julius Long, though, to be fair now, was actually trying to throw back on the occasion, but not really connecting. Oh, right hook again by Ahio. Left hook by Ahio. He's hurt. Julius Long is hurt, but it still stays on his feet. Oh, just missed with that left hook. Yeah, man, he's a... There's been a few occasions where Hemi Ahio's caught Julius Long with a couple of good shots, and it looked like Julius Long was two or three shots away from going down, and, and Hemi Ahio just couldn't capitalise, couldn't capitalise on it. There we go. Now Julius Long is throwing back, lazy jab, um, try to follow with a left hand. Nice little left hook by Julius Long, looking for another left hook. Yeah, Julius Long really is fighting to land one perfect shot to knock him out. That's what Julius Long's trying to do while absorbing a lot of punishment in the, in the process because he's not winning this fight on points now. So we are round seven of round eight, by the way. Oh, left hook by a heo, just big shot. He's, he's wobbling bad, Julius Long, but he's still on his feet. Ah, oh, he's taking a beating now, Julius Long. Tell you what, man, he's earned his payday, though. Oh, right hook by Ahio. Oh, another right hook by Ahio. Julius Long is on unsteady legs. He's down. What a left hook. Julius Long out. He's got a, I think, is he out cold? Fatal comes in as well. He's done. Left hook, round seven, towards the end of round seven. He was hurt by a couple of right hands. And Hemi Ahio follows up with a lovely left hook. Beautiful, picturesque knockout by Hemi Ahio, man. Beautiful stuff. Be I, I wondered whether he was going to get that stoppage. Because, you know, Julius, uh, Julius Long was soaking it up. But, you know, good finish by Hemi Ahio. Um, caught him with a couple of right hands. Um, Julius Long was buzzed. And then the left hook finished him off. Good knockout by Hemi Ahio. But all in all, was it an impressive performance? Got to be honest, not really. Not really. Wasn't anything special by Hemi Ahio. He's a good, fun fighter, um, but he's not really going to do anything on, on, the major, on the major world scene, to be honest. Got drama allergy. He says, thank you. I thought that was shut down. I'll enjoy your call. Salute. Big up to Got Drama Energy, man. If you're new here, by the way, bro, just, just smash the subscribe button. We talk boxing all day, every day on this channel. So big up to you, sir. Yep, definitely, Timmy. Out cold. Great knockout, though. Great knockout. Nice, nice finish. Now, I believe the main event is next. I'm hoping so anyway. I'm bloody hoping so. By the way, lads, if you could smash the like, that'd be much appreciated. Be much appreciated. I think this is the record for the uh, for the earliest stream I've ever done. Must be the record. So I always stream quite late. But it's a weekend, man. It's a weekend. I've worked fucking hard this week. Been a long week, by the way. Been a long, long week. So I moved into a new apartment. Work as well. You know, been been a, been a long week. So. Yeah, man, I'm going to enjoy this weekend. I've got a couple of bits to do, but I'm going to enjoy it. Not going to do anything real, like anything special. I'm going to chill, relax. That's it, really. I'm not going to do anything.
Wii U Mad, he says, far eighth round KO. That's a hell of a prediction, uh, Wii U Mad. That's a hell of a prediction. Are oh, you been subbed for a long time? That's good, man. That's good, bro. That's always good to hear. That's always good to hear, man. Salute to you. I've just not your seat. I've not seen your uh, seen your name for a while. But big up, man. Hopefully you're well. Jamstar, he says they looked two weight classes apart and the rest, bro. Yeah, they looked well apart. Yeah. But yeah, good little fight for what it's worth. Junior Far Julius Long. It was okay. It was okay. Nothing special, but it's watchable. It's quite fun. I'm going to quickly put the kettle on, lads. One second. Okay, we're back. Just put the kettle on. Going to make myself a coffee in a second while we watch this boxing. Oh, okay. I've got Joseph Parker by stoppage, Jamstar. Uh, second half of the fight, probably round seven and eight, round seven, eight, something like that. But yeah, I've got Joseph Parker by knockout. I don't think Junior Farr's really impressed me as a pro. He was quite a good amateur, Junior Farr, but... I've not been impressed as a pro, to be honest. And yeah, by the way, Julius Long is okay. He's up and he's up. He's up and saluting the crowd. He's having a good time. So big up to Julius Long. He's okay. He put a good effort in. Showed a bit of toughness. And yeah, he's okay. That's the main thing. That's the main thing. Now that's a very good shout. Adair Penance, that's a very good shout. Alan Babich versus Hemi Ahia, that would be a great fight. Yeah, both guys are similar sizes, similar styles, both very aggressive. That would be a very, very, very good fight. I've never thought about that fight. That's a great fight. Big up to Kaliti. I can't read that, bro. I cannot read that, man. But big up to you, sir. Hopefully you're keeping well. Timmy nealon has got Parker by 7th round stoppage. Yeah, I think so. 7-8, something like that. I agree. Big up to AZ in the chat as well. Hopefully you're keeping well, AZ. Right, lads, I'm going to quickly make a coffee. Bear with me. We have a coffee. We are back. We are back. Yeah, exactly, Jamstar. Hopefully Parker lets his hands go. I agree, man. Yeah, hopefully. He he should take care of Junior Far. Junior Far, he's relatively aggressive, but he's not all that I think I think he's quite open to be honest. Junior Far. Throws a lot of hooks, he squares up. He's open for a lot of straight shots, and, and Parker's got a nice jab, nice straight right hand. I think Parker can time him in between his punches, and I can see Parker getting the knockout. Big up to official scorecard boxing. Hopefully you're keeping well, bro, on this fine Saturday morning. Yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm very good. Hopefully you're well, man. And yeah, smash the like, indeed, indeed. Oh shit, let me uh, stick my headphones in. So yeah, Hemi Ahio just having his post-fight interview. Nothing to nothing to really talk about right now. Indeed, big up to official every single time. One of the OGs, man. Uh, 
uh, that's beautiful. What's better than like your first coffee, first thing in the morning, your first coffee? There's nothing better, man. There's nothing better. Especially if you've got a cigarette with it, man. I can't lie. But I'm trying to stop smoking. I, I've done really well this year, actually, with smoking. I've done really well. But um, this week I've actually kind of fell off a wagon, put it that way, because of this new move, being a bit a bit more stressed than usual. So I've, I've smoked a little bit more than I, than I would like to. But... Um, <laughs> I almost forgot that I had a DAZN subscription and that I could watch this card. Yeah, I've I've not used my DAZN. I've only used my DAZN subscription like four times since I got it, and that that was in, that was December, I believe. Soon, Michael Van Gerwen. Soon, I'm I'm trying to come up with a name for it, though. To be honest, I'm trying to come up with a name for it. I'm not I'm not set on the name. Which is very important. I, I'm, I'm, I need the I, I need the name finalised. But once that's sorted, I'll start basically. Maybe I'll put it out on a community poll to see what you guys uh, see what you guys suggest. Yeah, me too. Official, me too, man. It's hard. See, most of the time, though, the weird thing is official. Most of the time, I don't I don't really enjoy it to be honest, and I think to myself, why did I buy that pack? I'm not enjoying these. The only time I enjoy them is like first thing in the morning with like a cup of coffee or on a night out when I'm with my friends, had a few beers and whatnot. That are the only times I really enjoy them. Yeah, I, I, I need to watch that Michael Van Gerwen. I've heard mixed things about it. Some people, some people like it, some people hate it basically. That's what I've heard. But um, I liked Wrong Turn, the first film. I actually quite liked that movie. But the, the sequels, they weren't anything special, man. There's, there's a few funny, you know, they're kind of, they're, the, the sequels to Wrong Turn were kind of like um, so bad they're funny kind of thing. But yeah. And by the way, lads, if anybody in the chat hasn't checked out David Nika, who was on the undercard, very good cruiserweight prospect. Very good cruiserweight prospect. Six foot six cruiserweight prospect. That's mad. The zone's been free in Holland since August. Jesus. So it's one ninety nine in the UK or two ninety nine. One of the two. Yeah, one ninety nine, two ninety nine. It's great value, man. Great value. Yeah, official says same for me. Not enjoying it. The best cigarette is with beer or morning coffee. Indeed, I totally agree, official. Totally agree. And also, one other thing I quite like about smoking. You know when it's like a real cold night, you go outside to have a cigarette? Sometimes I like that for some reason. I don't know why. Ever see From Beyond? No, no not seen it, bro. Not seen it. I've heard of it, though, but I've never seen it. I watched a recent movie actually on Netflix. I think it was a Netflix movie called Hush. That was actually a real good horror movie. I quite enjoyed that. Basically, it was about some um, some deaf. It's a home invasion movie basically, and and the main character is a deaf woman, so she can't hear like at all. And and it made for a real good dynamic in that movie. So she, her her it was such a good movie in my opinion. Um, Hush, really good fun, really good movie. Home invasion slash slasher movie, I guess you would call it. But a real good movie. She's got to basically outthink the killer without using her her hearing because she doesn't have it. It's a real good concept. It's not, yeah, it's not hard. It's easy if you can one day, if you can go one day without it. It's just that we are lazy, undisciplined fucks. I totally agree, man. <laughs> I totally agree. Like I know I can do it, man. Because the start of this year until this whole until I started moving and whatnot. I, I basically didn't smoke the whole of January. And after like the first, I'd say after after the first three, four days, I didn't I didn't really want one again. But I, I kind of fucked it up. I oh, big up to Mr. G man. Thank you very much, bro. Yeah, right now we're just kind of talking nonsense because it's um in between fights. I think the Joseph Parker fights next. So <clears throat> we'll get on there soon, man. Looking forward to it. 
Yeah, Don't Breathe. I thought that was a very good movie as well. So that's with the killer who's blind and he's basically, they, they a group of kids try to rob his house. And yeah, there's that killer in there who's blind and he like he uses, he basically every other sense is heightened. That's a really good concept as well. Very good concept. I enjoyed that movie. Okay, they're doing an interview with um, David Nika right now, actually. I'll tell you what, though, this kid's a good prospect, David Nika. Tall, rangy, seems to hit hard. He reminds me of somebody in terms of looks. In terms of... Do you know who um, David Nika reminds me of? He reminds me of a, of a male Tasha Jonas. I swear to God, look at, look at David Nika, yeah? And look at uh, Natasha Jonas. He looks like a fucking male Tasha Jonas, David Nika. Stir of Echoes is a good movie. I've never seen that. I'm always looking for uh, new movies, though, especially horror. Okay, so so the zone in the in in Netherlands is still in beta. Okay. Quit smoking and chew Valium gum. No sugar, no sweetness. Strengthen your jaw and get back in shape. Or oh, Phallium gum, sorry, yeah. Yeah, I plan on getting back in shape. Um, actually, I want to go back to the boxing gym, but obviously it's closed, man. Are you going to stay up for the Canelo fight? Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. I don't know yet, man. Long versus Babich would be would be would be funny. Yeah, it would. He'll take Babich some rounds, in my opinion, Mister Relax. Julius Long. He would take him some rounds, but but Babich would get him out of there. Just too busy, too busy. Yeah, uh, that's what I think Joseph Parker needs. Uh, Koi. He needs to put on a show because since the Dillian White defeat and the Joshua defeat, Joseph Parker's really gone unnoticed. To be honest, people people have forgot about him. So. You're right, man. Parker needs to put on a performance. He needs to look good. He needs to remind people that he's a contender. Because in, in the last couple of years, Parker's kind of fell by the wayside. I've always said about Joseph Parker, he is the most frustrating fighter in the heavyweight division because he's got great attributes. He's got one of the best chins in the division. He's tough. He's got good hand speed, decent enough power. He's got decent boxing skills. Joseph Parker's got a lot of great attributes, but his mentality is just off. If he had that mean streak, like a Dillian White, for example, he would be so much more dangerous. Because I always say, the Dillian White fight's the perfect example. Dillian White did not win that fight. Joseph Parker lost it. If Joseph Parker had Dillian White's mindset, Parker wins that fight. He wins that fight. And even the Joshua fight, man, far too nice. Didn't He didn't turn up to ruffle any feathers. You know, just Parker, man, is so frustrating. I think he's got ability. He's got a good chin, you know. He's, he's a good athlete. Just, I don't know, man. Just mindset-wise, he's not quite right. And it's a shame because he could be so much better. That's my Joseph Parker rant, though. But I've always rated Joseph Parker in terms of his ability. Yeah, I, that's a, that, I like that fight to me. I, I like that fight for Joseph. Yeah, good fight. And Chisora's going to test that kind of mindset, I'll tell you that much. That's a good fight. Yeah, the commentary team is still kind of just jabbering on, talking about the main event. They're not. I, I'll tell you guys when it when we get close. Okay, so DAZN is great for us. We don't have Sky or BT, other boxing broadcasts here. Yeah, or other uh, boxing broadcasts here. Yeah. But yeah, smash the like, lads. Be much, much appreciated. Always helps us out when, when you smash the like. It's 
always a good thing, according to the YouTube nerds in Silicon Valley. Probably, I, I would imagine, uh, Tupu, in about 10 minutes, I would say, about 10, 12 minutes, something like that. Again, bro, I'm not showing the fight on this channel. I'm just commentating. So if you need to find a stream, just go on Google and type in crack streams and uh, click on one of those websites. Usually they show the fights. <clears throat> he says official uh, official goes, um, but I must admit when he opened up in his last fight, when he stopped his opponent, he was so open for wide counters. Well, sorry, he was he was open wide for counters. Yeah. Yeah, Parker does kind of square up when he when he lets go of his shots. I can't lie, you are right. Yeah, he does. Listen, he does have flaws, but I just think he's got a lot of ability. I, I really do. I think he's got ability, athleticism, speed, power, good chin. He should be a lot better than he is. Is what I'm trying to say. I because I, I don't think he's improved really either since he won that title against Ruiz. I don't think he's improved. Just I think it's a mindset thing with Joseph Parker. Do you think Canelo's ever going to take a dangerous fight again? Um, I, I, I can't see it this year, personally. And I don't see Billy Joe and Caleb Plant as dangerous. It, I don't know, maybe Billy Joe, stylistically, is a bit, a bit dangerous. But uh, yeah, he'll, he'll take another dangerous fight, though, eventually. Yeah. Canelo versus Saunders announcement hopefully tonight. Yeah, that'd be good. See, I've got I, I don't I don't mind that fight. Parker versus sorry, Can, uh, Canelo versus Saunders. I don't mind that fight at all. Yeah, Parker's been so lazy in the ring. That's really disappointing. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, Koi. That's true. But I, I, I do think he needs a good performance. I, I really do. I want to see Joseph Parker really push on and, and get back to that elite level. Because I like him. I like him as a person. I do like his style of fighting. I like his skill set. I, I like Joseph Parker. I've always liked Joseph Parker. I, I, I just expected a bit more from him as a fan kind of thing. Because on the, on the come up, I was super impressed with Joseph Parker. You know, when he was knocking out um, the likes of, uh, who was he fighting? Guys like um, Callie Meehan, I think, and Franz Bofa. I know these guys were old, but Parker was doing doing what he needed to do and he was looking good doing it. Yeah, I agree, JH. I agree, JH. I think Parker's just too nice, yeah. He is a nice dude, man. I can't lie. He's a nice dude. And I think sometimes he's too nice, yeah. It sounds like we're getting close to the main event now. Did you know that the Parker versus Fire pay-per-view, it costs like $50 there in New Zealand? Yeah, I know, yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. <laughs> Shit, you have a unique talent of understanding my typos. Respect. Yeah, bro, listen, I, I hate typing on my phone on like live streams because I, I make so many fucking spelling mistakes. And usually it's just because I got fucking, usually it's just because my, my typing skills are poor. You know, I'm not very precise, put it that way. And I make so many typos in, on when I comment on, on live streams and it makes me look like a fucking idiot. But, um, <laughs> oh dear, I, I know your pain, man. I, I'm a typo merchant, man, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, I can usually decipher when, when somebody does a typo. Can you put the audio up of the event? I'm not sure, to be honest, bro. I think that would affect copyright, unfortunately. But Tony, again, mate, if, if I was you, if you want to see the fight... Go on Google and type in crack streams and, and click one of the top links. It sh you should find it. You should find it, mate. Who 
Who's this clown? There's some other New, Ze uh, New Zealand cruiserweight on the panel, and he's basically calling out the winner of Glowacki and Akole. I don't know who this guy is. Is it Kane Watts, maybe, or someone like that? I don't know who this guy is. He's talking shit, though. Yeah, you'd get banned for the audio. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck that guy is. Okay, so David Nika, or Nika, however you say his name, he's actually fighting in the Olympics. He's just turned pro, but he's also fighting in the Olympics. I'll tell you what, David Nika, he's a, he's a medal hope, as far as I'm concerned. Looks very interesting. New Zealand have got a bit of talent coming through, though, to be fair. They've got a bit, bit of talent coming through. No worries, Tony. I, I don't know whether it's illegal, me 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 uh, suggesting illegal streams, but we're we're a man of a people on this channel, man. Man of a people. If we get banned, we get banned. <laughs> Who the fuck was that guy? Yeah, exactly, bro. Exactly. Could be a career-ending fight for Parker if he did lose. Yeah, if he did lose this heavyweight fight, yeah. If he lost to a junior five, then it'll be a, a long road back for Joseph Parker. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> yes, big up to Jazz Jazz. N not seen you for a while, bro, man. Hopefully you're keeping well. Hopefully you're keeping well. Yeah, this panel looks like a Dancing with the Stars judges. Yeah, exactly. They got the token woman there as well. She looks like a middle-aged divorcee who like has one too many bottles of red wine per night. You know what I mean? Yeah, Joe Jackson, good fight. I, I, I like Virgil Ortiz Jr. a lot. Maurice Hooker's a good fighter in his own right. It's a good little test. It's a good little test. I expect Virgil Ortiz to win. But again, good matchmaking. Good matchmaking. Stream it with Stephen Hawking's voice. I think uh, Junior Farr will tire around, the uh, around round four. Then Parker will catch him with a looping right hand from rounds four to six. Yeah, I, I think Parker's going to get the knockout in this fight as well. Uh, I think Parker stops him. KD Crew, Fury is going to destroy Joshua. Do you agree? I think he'll beat Joshua. I'm leaning towards Fury, but I wouldn't be so confident to say he destroys him. Put it that way. But I'm leaning towards Fury on points. If I had a gun to my head, that that would be my official prediction. Fury on points. Uh, Koi says, what, what's bullshit is even though I like Chizora, but all of his losses, he's still considered a main ticket seller. But if Parker loses, he's fucked. Yeah, he's kind of cultivated that reputation for himself, Chizora. Like, I don't give a fuck reputation. Um, and he stays relevant because of that, I guess. He always puts on a show. Uh, uh, it's weird, isn't it? You're, it's a good point. It's a good point. But I think that's just the way Chizora's marketed himself. He's always taken the hardest fights since he's been like 13, 14 and 0. Like before 20 fights, he fought David Tay, Vitaly Klitschko, Tyson Fury, Robert Hellenius. I think that's just the, the reputation Chizora's kind of carved out for himself, you know, because he took a lot of hard fights early kind of thing. Joe Jackson really impressed with the way Ortiz has been moved. Very ambitious fighter, I agree. Good matchmaking by Golden Boy with Virgil Ortiz. I totally agree. I don't rate him, Jazz Jazz, Zili Zhang. 
37, technically good, but a bit slow and seems to tire a bit. Yeah, he's a southpaw. He can box a little bit, but like you say, he's slow. For such a big dude as well, it's easy to get to him. You know, not great at distance control, uh, slow feet, defensively not great. Uh, he's a knockout waiting to happen, Zili Zhang. But he'll get he'll get used in a big event if he keeps winning. Um, I think Eddie Hearn wants Joshua versus Zili Zhang. To be honest, in China, Jazz Jazz, I want Fury to win. Can you imagine the few, uh, fanboys if AJ won? Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be bad either way, mate. See, I'm not a big fan of either guy. Uh, if if you if I gave you my top ten favorite fighters, Joshua and Fury are not on that list. I'm not really a big fan of both guys. So for me, no matter what way it goes, it's going to be annoying. But listen, I'll let I'll let people have their fun at the end of the day. If their man wins, fair enough. Junior Parker will be too good for sorry. Junior Junior is going to be too good for Parker. Junior will be far too good for Parker. I see what you did there. Yeah, I agree. Fury is much much more naturally uh, talented. He's more of a natural boxer. I totally agree. And I think that's the difference. <clears throat> Dale, do you like the rat announcer, Diamante? Most hate him for his repulsive dreads, but I think he's a good announcer. Yeah, he's decent. He's decent. He's not on the level of a prime Michael Buffer or, or like Jimmy Lennon Jr., but he's he's decent. I've seen some bad announcers in my time, but he's not a bad one. He's He's good. He's solid. <clears throat> Pick up to Gigi Allen. If Far wins, he'll fight Parker again. There's a rematch clause. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Diamante hasn't washed his hair in two years. Yeah, I bet he stinks, doesn't he? I bet he stinks. Yeah, I bet he stinks. I wouldn't buy it, Peter Kay, if he does. I think a lot of people have they they they've passed that fight now. They don't really care for it. That'll be such a cash grab if they make that fight on pay per view. I think they'll struggle to sell that. I really do. I'd be annoyed if they put that on pay per view now. It's like seeing a really hot girl. Yeah, you, it's like it's like seeing a, once a real hot girl. Yeah, like ten years ago she was super hot, and ten years later she's aged like fucking milk. That's what that's what Brooke Khan is like now. Ten, uh, five, six years ago, it's a great fight. Now it's horrible. It's... Yeah, I agree. Jamstar Zhang does nothing that is world level. I agree. Yeah, I don't like the um, the way he sa he says the the fighter's surname twice. I, I I don't like it. I know he does that to basically. Um, it's, it's a homage to the uh, old eras when they used to do that, but I, I don't like it. There's no place for it now. I don't like it at all. Is David Higgins promoting tonight or waiting on t or waiting on tables? I think he's I think he's promoting any David Higgins. I don't know. <laughs> David Higgins is jokes though. He's funny as hell. <laughs> Definitely a cokehead. <laughs> yep okay so joseph parker is warming up in the dressing room doing the pads he looks in good shape joseph parker i'll tell you that much he looks in good nick there's no fat on him there's no he, he's not no excess uh, fat or anything he's loosening up on the pads i think he's gonna put on a performance joseph parker i really do I hope so. I hope so. Miss Spactio 199, who do you think will win, Joe Joyce or Alexander Usyk? I would lean towards Usyk, but I think it's a very hard fight. It's a very hard fight, and I want to see that fight. Yeah, the stadium looks great with people in it. If Far wins, I'll go into another drunken depression stage, like just like when Russell Wilson threw that <laughs> pick at one yard line. I think he'll be fine, bro. I think he'll be fine, mate. I think I think pa uh, Parker's going to win this fight well. I 
okay, we've got some sort of performance now. Just waiting for the fight. So the national anthem of Tonga is being performed right now. I can't really give you a blow-by-blow -blow, uh, playthrough of this. <clears throat> to, be, to be fair, though, Junior Farr looks in pretty good shape as well. Yeah, it's, a gr it's great to see official... It's great to see people have actually gone back to normal. Auckland just announced a level three lockdown as C19 is on the loose. Announced it literally during the undercard fights. So they were lucky with the timing. Yeah, that's a shame. That's a shame. <laughs> Word is, Parker's been eaten by a spider moments before his ring walk. <laughs> Del, do you think the UK will stop being racist and prejudiced and give us a mixed race transvestite boxing announcer? <laughs> oh dear, you could see it happening, couldn't you? You could see it happening. <laughs> oh God, Jesus. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm looking forward to that fight, Jazz. Jazz. I thought both guys looked. I didn't. I honestly, I, I didn't think White looked tired versus Povetkin in that first fight. I thought he looked. He was looking okay, to be honest. And he just got. He just got fucking mollywopped with a big shot. Got car parked, man. Got absolutely leveled. Uh, Zion Jams. The fight is in like two minutes. I would say five. Well, two or three minutes. Go on Google. Type in crack streams, click one of the first links, and you can watch the fight on a live stream. This girl with the flowers in her hair is cute. Let's have a look. I'll see if I can spot the one you're talking about. If that's the one you're talking about, I can't really make her out, to be honest. So I can't give you a detailed breakdown. Uh, JD, I've got Joseph Parker by knockout, probably round seven, round eight. That's that's my prediction. You got any plans for the return of normality, Dell? Um not really, I, I guess. Not really. I kind of want to... Go. <laughs> nah, not really. I've, I've been kind of living life as close to, like, normal as I can. So I've, I've been meeting up with friends, having house parties. I, I've been doing my thing to the best of my ability, to, uh, to be honest. So the only thing that's going to change for me, I'll be going out a bit more to, like, pubs and bars and whatever. But, yeah... Not really, mate. No, no real plans. Who's hoping for the underdog to knock out Parker? Nah, man, I want Parker to win. I like Joseph Parker. Nah, Dan, I'm not going to stream the fight. I'll get my channel banned, bro. So, yeah, go on Google, type in Crack Streams, and you can find it on, on a website called Crack Streams. But, yeah, they're still doing anthems right now. I would sing along, but um, I don't think I know the words. I would grace you with my um, with my amazing vocal skills, but I'll leave it. One cool thing, we've actually just hit 3,800 subscribers, so that's pretty cool. So big up to you guys, man. If there's anybody new here who hasn't subscribed, you know, that subscribe button, the subscribe button is free, so go and smash it if you want, man. Smash it.
Well, not really official. So we're still in lockdown right now. We're going to I think we're going to come out of lockdown in like April kind of to be honest official man. I've I've stopped watching the news, bro. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm still going outside. It's a sunny day today, so after this fight, I'm going to have a quick shower, get changed, go outside, have a walk. Got a couple of bits to sort. I I just, you know, I've stopped paying attention to it now. I'm going to do whatever whatever I want when I want basically. <clears throat> no worries, Dan. Uh, to be fair, man, uh, one, two, three, MX kid. I can't share links because I don't know whether YouTube like that or not. But go on Google and type in crack streams, and and it's it's one of the first links. It should work, and you can watch the fight there. <clears throat> not yet, Joe Blow. We're still going through all the announcing bits and whatnot. So the, the, the ring walks are going to start any second. I'm going to quickly put the kettle on. <laughs> this, this, this announcer, man, it's jokes. <laughs> oh, dear. He's wearing like a white tuxedo, man. Looks like he belongs on Scarface. Okay, so Junior Far is making his ring walk right now. A oh, good entrance tune as well. Killing, uh, killing in the name of. I think that's what the song is. Shout out to uh, Junior Fast Mustache, by the way. Good production value, to be fair. He looks hyped up, man. Junior Far looks ready, looks relaxed, calm and composed. This is a big moment, man. Big moment for Junior Far. He wins this fight, man. Oh, what a tune. What an entrance song, man. Here's a little song I wrote, note for note, but don't worry, be happy. What a scene, man. Junior Fast making his ring walk now. Don't worry, be happy. Big up to, Joe, uh, big up to Junior Far. Great value for two pounds a month. Great value, man. Great value. Right, I need to, I'm making a coffee quick. So Junior Far now in the ring. Wait, waiting on Joseph Parker now. <clears throat> he does actually, yeah, looks like a looks like a big um Regis Progress. But yeah, Joseph Parker man looks in great shape. Looks in very good shape, Joseph Parker.
which is great to see. I like I like Joseph Parker's entrances as well, man. That's a Moen style, man. I'm expecting a good fight, good way to start a Saturday. Indeed, bro, indeed. Should be a fun little fight. Good domestic fight in New Zealand. And listen, man, On if Junior Farr loses this fight, I wouldn't mind seeing Junior Farr versus Hemia Hio, but I think that'd be a good fight. Yeah, the hype is real over there. Yeah, the atmosphere is really good, man. So they got Michael Buffett announcing on a big screen now. Yeah, Parker's making his ring walk now. He looks happy. Looks calm and composed again. This 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 announcer's hype, by the way. He's absolute hype. Yeah, Parker's Parker's looking super relaxed, man. He's been here so many times. It's eleven PM in New Zealand. Buffer's hologram, laugh out loud. <laughs> oh, man, honestly, I'd hate being an announcer yet in the arena and, and still they use Michael Buffer's hologram. I'd be pissed, honestly. I'd be so pissed. Uh, uh, Joseph Parker's using Can't Be Touched, Roy Jones, for his ring uh, ring tune. Parker's looking happy, man. Roy Jones' only good song, this, Can't Be Touched. If you've boxed before, like even just sparred or been in the gym, like you, you've worked out to this song, guarantee. Yeah, it's on the zone. <clears throat> on the zone. Yeah, me too, JH. You you do miss it, man. It, it totally changes the atmosphere. Even when, even if you're watching through TV or on computer, it totally changes your your. I don't know. It, it just makes it feel a lot better, man makes it feel a lot better i've kind of got used to no fans though i've got used to it kind of thing but i, I seeing fans again is amazing joseph parker hugging his mum before he goes into the ring see if i was a fighter yeah i would have nobody ringside that i know and loved nobody at all i i wouldn't i wouldn't have it at all Yeah, both guys look in, in good nick. They look in good shape. Both guys look calm and composed. Should get a good fight here. But I want to see Joseph Parker blow this guy out. I can't lie. Hype <laughs> MC, he'll be at my drum and bass night soon. <laughs> Mate, get this, get this MC some work, man. He's sick. He's good. Junior Farr's actually older. He's 31. Jo Joseph Parker's still only 29. It seems like Joseph Parker's been around for fucking years. It's mad. Some heavyweights are turning pro at 29. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, that's hype, isn't it? Yeah, I like that that guy, man. Okay, so the announcer's doing his introductions. I just don't see a way a junior far wins this fight, but... So Junior Fast number five with the WBO. So if if Parker wins this fight, it's good for his rankings, I guess. Junior Fast smiling away, just being announced. Now Joseph Parker's getting announced. Yeah, Joseph Parker genuinely looks in really good shape. Um, I think it's, it's the lightest he's been since the Joshua fight. So he's trained hard. He looks in good nick, Joseph Parker. Yeah, they beat each other two times. Uh, so they fought four times, I believe. And um, yeah, they beat each other twice. So two all, basically. Yeah, he's still very young, uh, Joseph Parker. Like I said, man, there's a, there's a lot of heavyweights out there who turn pro at 29.30. So, yeah, man, Joseph Parker's very young. If you could smash the like, by the way, lads, it'd be much appreciated. I, all, I fucking hate asking. It's cringy as fuck, but it's YouTube, innit? you got to do it. Okay. So the two guys are about to square up. And the referee is going to go through his instructions. <clears throat> is it me? Yeah. I think Junior Farr actually looks a little bit like Robert Garcia in his face. Look at Robert. Look at Junior Farr's face. He looks like Robert Garcia, man. Okay, we're about to start, boys. We're about to start. I've got an older brother, AJ. I've got an older brother. First bell. Okay, we start. We start. Junior Far trying to lead with a jab. Junior Far does have long arms. That's what it appears. Yeah, Parker jabbing his way in. They, they, they go into a clinch. Both guys kind of fainting, looking for openings. Parker jabbing to the body. Junior Far jabs to the body. Junior Far commits to the jab and misses. Junior uh, Joseph Parker trying to rush in and apply pressure. No real, no real work done there. Yeah, both guys fall into the clinch again. A bit messy in the first minute, but you know, you, it's that, that's to be expected. Oh, nice right, nice right hand by far. Timed, he timed Joseph Parker nicely there. And they kind of fell into a clinch after that. Both guys are punching uh, on the inside in the clinch but junior far does not look overawed here he he's quite composed he's trying to use the jab and trying to look for that right hand joseph parkos just uh falls in again to the inside parker looks for a right hand to the body left hook to the head just just blocked there
Tuni Farman looks very comfortable. Like he looks very calm. I mean, a bit messy first round um, so far. Far looking for that right hand again. Missed. Nice rights to the body by uh, from Parker. A pretty close round actually. This a lot of holding and mauling. Um, in terms of clean punches, Parker's jab's been a bit more effective, but Junior Farr's landed the best single shot of the, of the round. So, close first round. I'm not scoring this fight, by the way. I'm just going to watch it play out. Oh, left hand, le left, right hand, left hand by Junior Farr. Caught Parker. I think it was the left that caught him flush. That last little flurry there from Junior Farr might have won him that round. But yeah, tentative first round. Tentative first round. Big up to Jerome Benjamin. Big up to you, sir. Okay, go on Google, type in crack streams, tires are us. Crack streams, one of the first links. Yeah, close first round. Yeah, Junior Farr definitely looks up for it. Definitely looks up for it. Yeah. Joe, uh, Parker's jab was a little more accurate, but Junior Far landed for the power shots in that round. There's only only a couple of them, but that probably won him the round, to be honest. I've got Junior Far winning that round. Yeah, I agree, Jamstar. 1-0 Junior Far, yeah. But does anybody else see that with Junior Far? He looks like um, Robert Garcia. Maybe I'll just see that. I don't know. That's the best I've seen Junior Far. I've seen a few of his fights, uh, watching them back. And that, that's the best I've seen Junior Far. Some nice jabs there by Junior Far to open round two. A couple got through. Just just judging the distance nicely, jabbing, stepping back. He's got the longer reach here, so not doing anything special, but you know, taking it steady. Parker trying to get some body work in. Uh, Joseph Parker throwing in the clinch. Yeah, Junior Farr's tying Joseph up when he gets close. Commentator said he looked, it was like a Klitschko tactic. He's right, yeah, he's tying him up. Again, Junior Farr ties up Joe Parker. Nice body shot by Junior Farr. Uh, jab to the head, like a faint jab to the head, right hand to the body. Parker comes back with his own right hand to the body. Oh, little short left uppercut on the inside by Parker. Good shot. Not much power in it, but a nice snappy shot. Parker looking for the right hand, but out of range. Junior Farr stepped back nicely there. Pa uh, Junior Farr, oh, a lovely jab by Parker. Solid jab. Jab to the body by Parker. This, be this is better now. Getting his distance a little better. Finding his range. Junior Far tries to flick his jab as well. Mm, good, good round. This is a good round here. Good competitive round. Right hand to the body by Far. Parker tries to go to the body himself. Right hand to the head by Far. I think it was a blocked on the shoulder. When when Joe Parker tries to jab to the body, um, Junior Far tries to counter him with that right hand over the top. He's seen that coming, Junior Far. Nice left hook to the body by Parker. Right hand to the head by Parker. There you go. Nice bit of work out by, by Joseph. Better round by Parker here, round two. The, the, the good shots have come from him, the majority of them anyway. Left hook by Parker. But Junior Far tries to work in the clinch. Parker jabbing and and uh, Junior Far moving back here. Junior Far just trying to reset himself. Right hand to the body by Parker. They fall into a clinch. I want to see Junior Far work a bit more in the clinch, though, because Parker at times is working in the clinch, whereas Junior Far really isn't. I want to see Junior Far work a bit more in a clinch with a free hand kind of thing. 
But yeah, round two, definitely a Parker round. So I've got it one round each at a minute. I said I wasn't going to score it, but fuck it. Is that referee going out clubbing afterwards? Bro, Jamie, what part of no footage do you not understand, bro? Just go on Google, type in crack streams, and you can find the fight. It's one of the first links. Yeah, he's around 240, Joe Blow. Yeah, he looks in good shape. He looks in good shape. But yeah, one shot that's worked nicely for, for Junior Faris for right hand as Parker jabs to the body. He's timed that quite well. <clears throat> but yeah, first two rounds, like the commentary says, it's like a bit of a chess match. I want to see Junior Far commit to that jab a little bit more, though. He's he's landed it on occasion, but not really loading up with it or, or f stepping into it kind of thing. Nice right hand to the body by far, but Parker comes back with a right to the head. Bit of an exchange here. Par right hand to the body by Parker. Left hand to the head by Parker. And now, he, now they go into a clinch as Parker comes in. Junior Fars just uh, clinching a little too much. Kind of creates for a bad aesthetic for judges, in my opinion. It's like you don't want to fight and you're trying to stop your opponent from fighting kind of thing. It's not a good look, in my opinion. But Junior, Junior Fars had his successes. <clears throat> Parker loading up with a left hook and misses. Junior Fars got the reach. He's trying to maintain range, but he's not throwing that jab enough, man. He needs to consistently pump that jab and try and point score. Good jab by Parker. He jabbed with Junior Far and caught him flush. Jab to the body by Parker. Good change of levels there. Looking for the left hook to the head. That's better from Parker. That's better. Parker's starting to come into this now. He's starting to warm up a little bit. Another right hand to the body by Parker. They always fall, they fall into the clinch again, though. Junior Far not really done much in this third round. Jab to the body by Parker. Oh, right hand to the head by Parker. Left hand, right hand, two right hands to the head. Junior Far trying to hold now. I think he felt one of those shots. Mm, yeah. Joseph Parker starting to show his experience now. He's starting to get a foothold in this fight. Right hand by fucking Junior Far. Shot there. Good shot. See, I couldn't be a commentator because I was fucking swear too much. But... Okay. Yeah, both guys kind of fell into a clinch. Now both guys are on the outside. Again, fall into the clinch. Come on, man. Good jab by Parker. Right, left hook, right hands from Parker. Left hook didn't land, but the right hand landed. Junior Farr's a bit, Junior Far, sorry, is being a little too negative. I want to see him. He needs to try and stamp his authority on this fight. Yeah, man. Yeah, I got it too. I got it two one Parker as well. Yeah, it's a slow, it's a slow burner, Michael Van Gerwen. It's a slow burner. There's been a few good shots for both guys, but in the last two rounds, I felt Parker started to take control a little bit. Junior Far needs to be more active, man. He needs to be more active. When he's landed that right hand, this looked quite snappy, to be honest. Um, and he needs to commit to that jab a bit more, Junior Far. Do you think Joseph Parker really lost to Dillian White? Yeah, I think he lost, but like he he threw that fight away. He should have won that fight. If he had Dillian White's mindset, he would have won that fight. No doubt about it. If he was a bit more nasty, 
he could have won that fight. Okay, so we are round four now. Right hand to the body by Junior Far. Now both guys are standing off, pouring with a jab. No, no one's really committing, but short left hook there by Junior Far. A slapping left hook kind of thing. Both guys are jabbing now from range. Uh, the battle of lead hand control, and they fall into the clinch. Joe Parker really kind of falls in with a right hand and misses. Now they go into the clinch. Parker's trying to work in the clinch. Junior Farr's just holding, man. It's not a good look when you're just, when you're just holding like that. You need to start throwing back in the clinch, trying to work. Again, Junior Farr clinching again. This guy, man, honestly, he needs to stop that. Right hand to the body by Farr. That's a good shot. He, when he throws that right hand, Junior Far, he's landed to body and head, but he's just not active enough. But he's done. He started this round not too bad. He's landed a couple of good shots to the body. Okay, so both both guys are standing off right now. Parker jabs to the body. Another jab to the body, and then again Parker falls in, and Junior Far clinches him. Parker looks for the left hook and misses, and again, they fall into a clinch. It's Junior Far, by the way, who's initiating these clinches. So, I don't know, at some point, the referee's got to say something. Good good shot by Junior Far, though. Uh, he, he fainted with his right hand and threw a real hard jab. Good shot by Junior Far. That's better. Uh, Parker comes to the body with a jab. That's a bit better. Yeah, Junior Far, you need to work in the clinch. Okay, yeah, both guys are standoffish now. I think Junior Far might have won this round, by the way, round four. 30 seconds left. Joseph Parker just come short with a right hand there. It was a couple of inches away. But yeah, the pace has slowed down in round four. And I think Junior Far might have nicked it. Ten seconds left. It's a messy fight, man. It's pretty messy. Yeah, it's a messy round, but I think Junior Far might have nicked it. I think Junior Far might have nicked it. I thought it was a close fight, Jessica, to be honest. I thought it was a very close fight. Could have gone either way. Um, you, you could have scored it to Ruiz because he actually tried to force the fight more than Parker. But you can score it to Parker because his jab was more effective and more more efficient. So it, that was one of those fights that could have gone either way, in my opinion. I, I don't think it was a robbery. He's fighting in New Zealand, by the way. So yeah, it's fighting on right. If a fight is on right now, we're in. We're going into round five. I've got it tall as well. I thought the fourth round went to uh, Junior Far, to be honest. It was a quiet round, but I felt Junior just landed the better, more cleaner shots. So, yeah, Junior Far, he's acquitting himself well, just too much clinching, really. He's not doing too bad. Okay, so here we go, round five. Both guys playing the battle of lead hand control, uh, pouring with a jab. Both guys are looking for the opening. Parker drops down to the body with a jab. Again, if you're going to jab to the body, though, like Parker's doing, I want to see a right hand come over the top after that jab to the body. Because every time Parker dro uh, jabs to the body, he, there, there is a tell from Junior Far. He will drop his hands. So after that, jab to the body, Come over with a right hand to the head or faint jab to the body, right hand to the head. Parker looking for the left hook, just kind of missing.
but yeah, Junior Farr is, is taking care of himself, no doubt. Not really done much in the first minute of round five, though, Junior Farr. Good jab by Parker. Semi caught him. Jab to the body by Parker. That's, a, that's, that's been a good shot for, uh, for Joseph Parker, the jab to the body, but he's not building on it. Yeah, Junior Farr just misses. With, oh, no, nice right hand by Junior Farr. Short right hand up close. Nice snappy little shot there by Junior Farr. Basically the only shot of note in the, in the round for him. Good jab by Parker. I think I think Junior Far man, if he keeps on clinching, needs a warning. Right hand to the body by Far. Okie dokie, both guys are standing off now. Parker misses with a left hook. And they fall into the clinch again. There's a lot of clinching in this fight. It's a bit messy. It's a bit messy. Here we go again. In the clinch, man. And it's, it's Junior Far who basically initiates 99% of these clinches. <clears throat> nice jab by Parker. Double, double, double jab by Parker. First jab missed, but second jab got through. Left hook by Parker. Definitely a park around round five. <clears throat> Definitely a park around. 15 seconds left of round five. Again, the, the right hand was there for Junior Far, and he went for a clinch instead. If you, uh, Junior Far could have... Uh, nice jab by Junior. But yeah, 3-2 Joseph Parker on my school card. Someone's going in the seventh or eighth. Yeah, could be right. I hope I hope we get something um, something crazy coming up, something dramatic. Yeah, he looks good, Junior Far. He, but he's just not taking. He, he's not being active enough. Like when he throws the right hand, it's quite effective to body or head. He's quite accurate with it, but not, he's not throwing it enough. Yeah, it's on the zone. Uh, it's on the zone, by the way, Jessica. It's on the zone. I've got three two Parker. Um, so Jamstar's got it three two far. Timmy Nealon's got it four one Parker. I've got it three two Parker. So different scorecards. Different scorecards. Round six. Right hand by Junior Far, good shot, best shot of a of a fight for him. It's a good shot. Jab right hand by Junior Far, good shot. Now Junior Far, good jab by Junior Far. That's a much better start to the round by Junior Far. Now they go into the clinch again. Come on, man. Oh, little short combinations on the inside by Junior Far. Caught Parker off balance. Good shots. That's better from Junior Far. Just work up close, man. Stop going for the clinch. Much better. Right hand to the body by Parker. And again, more body work by Parker up close. It's, it's really mauly and, and, and horrible kind of in the clinch, but Parker's getting down and dirty. Good jab by Parker. Jab to the body by Parker. Jab to a uh, double jab to the head by Parker. <clears throat> nice work in the clinch by Junior Fard. Some little short right hands. Nothing really too crazy, but just a good bit of work by Junior Far. Close round, round six. Right hand by Junior Far pushes Joseph Parker back.
Now Joseph Parker initiates a clinch. There you go. Now, now Junior Fire goes back to initiating a clinch. <laughs> but yeah, round, round six so far is a Junior Fire round. Now Joseph Parker initiates another clinch. Hey, there you go. Maybe he's starting to feel it a little bit. Oh, right hand by Junior Fire. Good shot. This is Junior Fire's best round of the fight. He's landed a couple of good right hands, some good work on the, uh, up close. Left hook by Junior Far. Semi blocked, but good attempt. Good jab by Junior Far. He's up jab, yeah. Junior, Junior's landed some nice shots in this round. It's a, it's a definite Junior Far round. Junior Far's cut, by the way. Some body work by Joseph Parker in the clinch. Bit, it's starting to warm up a little bit. It's starting to warm up. But a very good round. It's a very good round by Junior Far. I got I have it three rounds apiece. Miracle Manese. Three rounds apiece, in my opinion. See, other people have it 4-2 Junior Far in the chat. Timmy Nealon's got it 4-2 Parker, I believe. It's a close fight. It's a close fight. Yeah, both from New Zealand. Both from New Zealand. Yeah. He's rocked um, Parker's head back a few times, uh, Joe Blow. I think he's at, that's a good round for him in round six. Best round of a fight as well in general, round six. Most entertaining round. It's a weird fight. It's, it's kind of messy, but at the same time, it's one of those fights that's like, um, you can't really keep your eye off it. It's almost like there's something on the verge of happening. Anyway, round seven. We're about to start round seven. <clears throat> but yeah, Junior Far is doing much better than I anticipated. I'll say that much. The only thing I don't like is the clinches, but he was he was much better with it in round six. Junior Far using the jab. Ooh. Both guys exchanged there. Parker landed a nice left hook. Hooks to the body by Parker. Just working up close. Junior Fast trying to clinch. Why are you breaking that ref? There's no need to there's no need to break that. Parker was Parker had his hands free and he was working. Bit more purposeful from Joe Parker in the first minute of round seven. Okay. Joseph Joseph Parker just come up a little short of a right hand there, an inch short. Maybe maybe it might have caught Junior Far, but he took a he took a sting out of a shot by going back. Oh, right hand by Junior Far, good shot. Don't think the commentary team caught that shot. Okay, both guys in the clinch. Junior Far goes for a right hand to the body. Nice jab by Joe Parker. Good strong jab there. Yeah, I think I think the referee needs to say something about this clinching now. To be honest, <clears throat> I don't think there's been a warning. Left hook by Joe Parker, good lead left hook there, and it goes and they go into a clinch. That's what Parker needs to do though. We're in the clinch, just work to that body, beat it, beat it like a drum kind of thing. Just keep working, keep working, try and tire this guy out. Joe Parker a little more active in round seven. I think this is a Joe Parker round so far. <clears throat> round seven's kind of petering out. Oh, overhand right by Joe Parker. Good shot by him. 
Junior Farr comes back with, with a right hand. <coughs> Pardon me. To be fair, though, I think Junior Farr rode that shot quite well. I think it looked worse than it was. I think he rode the shot quite nicely, to be honest. But it's a good attempt by Parker. Round seven for me was a Joe Parker round. I've got it 4 3 Joe Parker. Like, I. Junior, like this fight's winnable for Junior, the way Parker's the way Parker's looking. But he's clinching too much. He needs to be more active with that right hand. He's he's caught Parker with some real good right hands, but just needs to be more active. Needs to take a few more chances. Jamstar has it 4-3 far. Michael Van Gerwen 4-3 uh, far. Timmy Nealon 5-2 Parker. I got it 4-3 Parker. Big up to Adam UK. Yeah, too much clinching indeed, man. Far is Tongan and Samoan, okay, indeed. Goodbye, world level. I feel depressed. War Chizora going to put JP on ice. So some people have far, uh, some people have Junior Far winning. I've got Parker winning in a close fight. Uh, uh, some of these rounds have been very close, it has to be said. Both guys are leading up with a jab. We're in round eight now, by the way, for those listening. Junior Far, uh, Joe, sorry, Joe Parker trying to stalk Junior Far and look for that those openings for, for power shots, but nothing's really presenting itself right now. Good jab by Joseph Parker, though. That's a nice shot. That's what I want to see from Parker. Yeah, get grimy on the inside. Work, work, work. Trying to ex oh, Parker, Parker's swinging for the hills there. Missed badly, but... Parker's looking a bit more menaceful in this round. Oh, right hand by Junior Far. Good shot. Junior Far is very tricky, man. Very tricky. Less aggressive than I've seen in, in his previous fights. Much more, um, much more circumspect in this fight. Looking for his openings, boxing a lot more. Junior Far goes for the left hook, kind of semi-blocked by Joe Parker. Joe Parker again kind of falls into the clinch. Yeah, the, the referee needs to do something about this clinching, man. Fuck's sake, ref. Come on. Right hand by Parker, good shot. Overhand right. Lower left hook on the break by Parker, a bit naughty. Got away with it though. Left hook by Parker. That's better by Joe Parker. I want to see Junior Fart actually work up close because I've seen him throw some real good short punches in this fight. But he's too content on clinching. I don't know what you guys think about round eight. To me, Joseph Parker's been the aggressor, actually going for it, and probably landed the better single shots, but he's not again, it's not been very impressive, has it? Jab by Parker. Good right hand to the body by Parker. That's better. Some good body work by Parker in the clinch. Good jab by far. Close round, round eight. Good round in round eight, yeah. I think, I, do you know what? I might give round eight to Joe Parker. I'm going to go Joe Parker round eight. To me, he was the aggressor. He landed the clearer shots. I know, I know don't get me wrong, uh, Junior Far definitely stifled him, but... I think Joe Parker landed the better shots in round in round eight. So I've got it 5-3 Joe Parker. Maybe I'm biased, though. I'm going to have a look at some of the scorecards on Twitter. So someone's got it fucking, 
yeah, a, a lot of people have it to Parker. Yeah, I've got it five three. I've got it five three Parker though. From what I see online, most people have it for Joe Parker. But I see a lot of close rounds. Junior Far going for the uppercut there. Little right uppercut. Missed it, boy. But... Yeah, tapes coming off a glove there from Far. Okay. <clears throat> Jab to the body by Parker. That's the thing, though, with... with that jab to the body hasn't been built on by Joseph Parker at all. You know, there's been nothing off that shot. You know, like I say, the right hand after that jab to the body or feint the jab to the body and uh, get Junior to drop his hands, then come over with a right hand. But he's not he's not built on that jab to the body. It's been it's been Joe Parker's best shot in this fight. He needs to build upon it. He just looks so uninterested these days, Joe Parker, man. I think he's winning this fight, but nice right to the body by Parker. That's better. Right hand by Junior Favo, up close, little short right hand. Yeah, that commentator made a good point. When, when Joe Parker lands a good single shot, he kind of just pauses and doesn't follow up on it. It's a good point. He'll, he'll catch Junior Far with a good shot to body or head and he'll just sit back kind of thing. Doesn't jump on him or try to force the issue. <clears throat> but anyway, we are round nine right now. Close round so far in round nine. Jab to the body by Parker. I do think Junior Far... Oh, good... Good attempt of a good attempted right hand there by Junior Far. I think it was blocked by Parker though. Junior Far is a strong dude, man, because he's he's tied up Joseph Parker really quite easily, to be honest. Right hand to the body by Junior Far. Good shot there. I'll tell you what though, if, if Junior Far was working in the clinch, bro, he could be winning this fight. That's better by Junior Far. Left hook in the clinch to the body. And we also have to consider these two guys know each other quite well. They fought each other four times in the amateurs. So these guys know each other. And, and it kind of shows in this fight. You, you know, they, oh yeah, Junior Far's cut's got a little worse. It's not bad though. I'll tell you what, round nine. Round nine's a close round. I just good good right hand by Junior Far. Little short right hand. Oh, unlucky by Joe Parker. Missed the right hands. It caught him with that one though. That's a good shot by Joe Parker. Oh, body shots by Joe Parker. Good end to the round by Parker. Right hand over the top, missed. I thought that was a close round, but the way Parker ended it, I've got Parker. That cut's got a lot worse, by the way. Well, it looks like it anyway. It's a lot more blood, put it that way. Round nine, I've got Joe Parker. 6-3 Parker. I, I just don't like the clinching from Junior Far. I, I, I can't give him credit for that. He's done some nice work, but that clinching is just, it, it's not a scoring tactic, man. It's frustrating because Junior Far's put together some real good shots and, not, and nice little combos and whatever. Just too negative. Not negative. It's just too circumspect. Yeah, Parker is doing some good body work in the clinch. Am I? Do I have this too wide? I've got it. I've got it six three Parker. Mind you, Timmy's got it seven two Parker. I, I just struggle to. I struggle to give Junior Far credit for all of his clinching. I just, I, I struggle. Oh, 
Oh, good right hand by Junior Farrak. Big shot. Flush on the chin. Beautiful shot by Junior Far. He's picked some really good shots, man. That's frustrating. Like, he needs to stop clinching and let go of your shots, man. That's a great shot by Junior Far, though. Good right hand. Yeah, uh, Junior Far's cut is definitely a bit worse now, by the way. It's more blood coming from it. So over his left eye is cut. Junior Far going for the right hand, for opening up with a combination. But yeah, a lot of those were on the gloves of Parker. But both guys now are looking a bit more open, looking to exchange a little bit more. But once again, they fall into a clinch. But round 10 is a Junior Far round so far. Oh, good left left hand by Parker. Like a like a this is like a hook come jab by Parker. Hey, both guys fall into a clinch. But but Junior Fast started this round well though, so he's winning the round. Joseph Parker misses with the overhand right. Good little short left hand on the inside by Parker. That's the thing. I think a lot of people are missing some of Parker's work on the inside in the clinch. He has landed a few good little shots up close. So it's messy, but he's landing. Yeah, Junior Far's cut is definitely worse. There's a lot more blood now. Round nine, uh, sorry, round 10, sorry, relatively close. P Junior Far started it well, but he's kind of tailed off. So round 10 is a real hard round to score, in my opinion. Good right hand by Junior Far. Fainted with a jab and come through the middle with a right hand. That's a good shot. He's picked some, again, he's picked some real nice shots, but just not regularly enough. Round 10, I've got to give to Junior Far. So I've got it 6-4, Joe Parker. That is a good last uh, 20 seconds by Junior Far. Picked a real nice right hand. Fainted with, he fainted with a jab and came through the, uh, through the middle with a right hand. Michael Van Gerwen's got it 5-5. Five, five. I've got it 6-4, Joe Parker. Junior looks like he could fight. Why is he clinching so much? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Jessica. He's picking some real good shots, some nice jabs, some nice right hands, a few good combinations here and there. You know? That's what I think, Devil. That's what I think. I think Parker's slightly ahead, but it is close. I think he's relatively close. Yeah, Parker's got a good chin. A lot of people have it 5-5 five, five in the chat. I've got it 6-4, Parker. Timmy's got it 7-3, Parker. So a lot of people have it close. See, Junior Far needs a knockdown on my card to win this fight because he's two rounds down with two to go on my card. Be very interesting, though, to see the scorecards. Okay, Joe Parker landing a couple of nice jabs to start this round 11. Went to the body with a right hand, Joe Parker. Bit more, A bit more purpose with, uh, from Joe Parker. Start of round 11. Yeah, I'll tell you what, regardless, I've, I've not really enjoyed some of Junior Far's tactics, but he's done a lot better than I expected, so I've got to give him credit. Work from the, uh, work on the, work from the body uh, to the body from Joe Parker in the clinch. Come on, ref, man. You can't, you can't allow that sort of clinch. And he's, he's headlocking Joe Parker and turning away. Nice jab by Junior Farbo. Again, they fall into a clinch. 
this fight, it's, it's not been a terrible fight, but without the clinches, man, it would be so much better. It's been very messy. It's been competitive, but messy kind of thing. And again, they're in a clinch right now. Come on, Parker, you need to work in those clinches. You need to work. Oh, right hand by Parker. He overhand right by Parker, jumping in, and he caught for Junior Far. Yeah, both Parker falls in with a jab and they clinch. Must be so frustrating to keep on getting held like that. Good body work by Parker. Left hook by Junior Far. Parker goes for the overhand. Misses, misses Vo. So a nice little exchange there. Park to the body. Junior Far with a left hook to the head. Come on, Junior Far. Stop fucking holding, man. Left hook to look left hook by Parker. Joe, Joe Parker just misses with the right hand. The commentary team are making out like Joe Parker's losing this fight. I'm not really seeing an official scorecard, but that's how they kind of that's how they're sounding. See, round 11 was close. But again, it's what you like. Neither guy's really separated themselves from each other. Joe Parker was definitely the aggressor. You know, he landed a couple of shots, and Junior Farr was negative, and he landed a couple of shots. So how do you how do you see that round? Round 11. Round 11 was close to me. Big up to Eddie Hills, by the way. I, I, to, be, to be honest with you, if I had to score round 11 to anybody, I'd probably score it to Joe Parker. So I've got it 7-4 seven, seven Joe Parker. <clears throat> Maybe you guys don't think I'm giving Junior Farr enough credit, but I, I, he's he's ruining it for him. For, sorry, he's ruining it from for himself, really, because, I don't know, the clinches, man. I felt I felt round eleven was a Joe Parker round. Round yeah, round twelve. Here we go, final round. <clears throat> let's go. Let's have a last good round, man. Come on. It, if I was junior, listen, listen, man. If, if if this goes for distance and I'm junior far and I lose this fight, I'll, I'll be very disappointed. I'll look back on this with a lot of regret because. This fight was winnable for Junior Far. He might get, who knows, he might get the decision, but if he doesn't, this fight was winnable. See, I think the commentary is being very, oh, Junior Far exploding on the inside with a nice little combo. Not much landed, but good attempt. Right hand by Junior Far. Good shot. Junior Far turned his back, man. Come on. Oh, right hand by Parker. Good shot. The referee's been very kind to Junior Farr. I will say that much. It's almost like they want Junior Farr to win. Can I be honest with you? That's what it looks like to me. It's like Joseph Parker's the away fighter or the B-side. Junior Farr's had so many breaks by this ref. Unreal. Again, man. Fuck's sake. Both guys are tired now, it's, it's evident. Yeah. Both guys fall into a clinch. Junior Far working in the clinch, though, that's better. That's better from Junior Far. If you're going to clinch, at least work. Be very interesting, though, to hear the scorecards. Body work in the clinch by Joe Parker. Round 12 has been very disappointing considering what sort of fight it's been. It's, it's, it might be close. It's been a bit ugly. 
you would have liked to have seen a good round 12, but very messy, very, very ungainly from both guys. There have, there have genuinely been a lot of close rounds in this fight, but for me, the aggression of Parker and the clinching of of far have kind of made me sway towards Parker. Nice little, nice little combo there from Parker. Not much landed though, to be honest. Right hand up close by Junior Far. Good little shot. Fight's over. It goes to the decision and it goes to the scorecards. How do you guys have round 12, by the way? It was very messy. Go, Joe Parker. <clears throat> yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Seven five Joe Parker jam star. I think round twelve probably probably goes to Junior Far. It was listen. It it was a weird fight. It's it's not a fight you would watch again, but it it was it was entertaining enough to keep you interested, kind of thing. It could have been a much better fight though. Junior again, if Junior Far doesn't get this decision. I think he'll look back on this with a lot of regret because this fight was extremely winnable for him. Very winnable. Mr. Campuis reviews. He says Joseph Parker is average. He, he's looked like that for a little while now. I think he's got ability. He's got potential, but he's just not improved as a fighter. He's kind of stagnated. This is a very good point, Eddie Hills. This is the kind of performance you get when you're coming off three tune-ups in a row. Indeed. Indeed, Eddie Hills. Yeah, you again. You can stagnate as a fighter. Sean Ali. He says that he says eight for Joe Parker. <clears throat> From what I see online, most people have it to Joe Parker. Peter Kay's got it six all. Mr. Relax, bet they give it a draw. I agree, uh, Devil. I, I agree. I think Joe Parker needs a change of scenery, uh, step outside his comfort zone because, like I say, he's stagnated. I had it 7 5 as well, George. Israel, sorry, Israel Adesanya is there as well. Big up to Israel Adesanya. Harvey Hughes, far as getting the decision. You might be right. Parker has the potential, just doesn't deliver. I agree. Uh, Fenix, I totally agree. By the way, Junior Far has got a bit of ability from what I saw in that fight. That's the best I've seen him fight because I've seen Junior Far fight before and he never impressed me at all. Looked lethargic, open, cumbersome. In that fight, though, he was picking some good shots. Uh, you know, he'd he done some good things, just too... Too negative, too clinchy in my opinion. But listen, I've got a bit more time for Junior Far now as a talent, you know? I've got a bit more time for him. If Far loses, I think there there are still good fights for him. Yeah. I, I'd like to see I'd like to see him fight Hemi Ahio. See, I thought I thought Junior Far was gonna get stopped in this fight, but even if he loses this fight on points, you're right. It, it's not really damaged his reputation. Cause he put in a decent effort. Yeah, bring back the old Parker. Yes, sir. These guys' inactivity or lack of quality opposition is blunting their tools. I totally agree, Jerome. It's a real thing, man. It's a it's a real thing. A, a lot of fighters are, are are suffering from that right now. Junior Far is big for nothing, man. Things I do without physique. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. 
he used his physique in that fight to just neutralize Parker, hold him, clinch him. I, I try and use it to bully Parker, you know, push him back, really work up close and, and just make it horrible for him. But anyway, the scorecards are being read out. One hundred nine, one hundred nine, one eighteen. Jesus, one thirteen, one fifteen. One eleven, one seventeen. Joe Parker wins a fight. UD. One seventeen, one eleven, one fifteen, one thirteen, and I think the other card was one nineteen, one oh nine. I think that that last that that card was too wide. But the, that one oh nine. Sorry, 119-109 was too wide, but I think Joseph Parker won that fight personally. 115-113 is, is a decent card. I think that's, that was my card, so I'm going to say that. But um, yeah, 115-113, 116-112, I think that's the right range for this fight. But um, I think Joseph Parker genuinely won that fight. I don't think that was a controversial decision. One of the school cards was too wide, though. But um, Ryan Tuga, he says, get rid of Kevin Barry. You, you could be right, bro. I've, I, I don't think he's improved for a long time now, Ryan. I don't think he's improved for a long time, jo uh, Joe Parker. Guess you weren't too wide. No, nah, man. Yeah, I, 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 I matched the last judge's scorecard. One, yeah, 115-113. Hopefully, yeah, Joe Parker, Chisora. Let's get it. Chis Chisora's going to make him fight. That'd be a good fight. <clears throat> yeah, I, I would take Wilder over Joe Parker, <clears throat> Benny. Parker needs John David Jackson. I wonder who, who a good trainer for Parker would be. I think Sugar Hill actually would be a good trainer for, for Joe Parker because he naturally gets his fighters to be a bit more aggressive and go for the knockout. I think that's what Joseph Parker needs. He's got the hand speed. He's got respectable power. You know, he's got good combinations. Anyway, lads. So yeah, Joe Parker wins a unanimous a unanimous decision. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, Peter Fury. That be in, that be interesting. Uh, Sean, that be very interesting. Joe Parker won on uh, won by unanimous decision. Um, yeah, unanimous decision. Joseph Parker. Yeah, exactly. Good pick, but he trains Fury. Yeah. Indeed, yeah, but but Joseph Parker and and um, Tyson Fury are really close. I could see them working together. I don't think they're going to fight each other anyway, so I I, I don't think that would be a bad move for him. <clears throat> Jim Davis, Andy Ruiz has lost a heap of weight. Yeah, he has. Yeah, he has done. He's done quite well. Hopefully, though, the, the key for Andy Ruiz is is actually to keep it off. That's the key for uh, for Andy. Just needs to keep it off, man. If he can do that, he could be a threat. Who knows? <clears throat> Buzz Red, Usyk and Parker would be interesting indeed. Yeah, it's a good fight. I want to see Parker. Uh, yeah, yeah, Parker versus Chizorovo. That's the fight I want to see. I agree, Ryan. Yeah, he's kind of stagnated. He's not really developed in the last, I don't know, three, four years. It, it, it almost seems like he's getting worse, in fact, you know, which is a shame because he's a good talent. But um, yeah, anyway, lads, I'm going to wrap this stream up I again because I was watching this fight live. I wasn't watching the chat all the time. Um, so, yeah, if, if, if anybody did actually donate by Super Chat, I'll look after the stream and I'll shout you out in the next video. So, yeah, big up to you guys. Um, I'm going to wrap this one up. We might I might do a, a video actually and um, do a post-fight review. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this stream and hopefully you guys have a great Saturday. Peace.